Hey everybody, this is Jim. What's up? So when you first come in, you'll see there's a bunch of yellow on the screen. That's what you want to change first. So you do that by clicking on the sections. So here, I'm going to change the logo. So I just click on it, and up comes the logo dialog. Click on that to select my logo. I can select either a JPEG or a PNG file. I'm selecting a PNG, and it'll load up. There it is. Let me pull this up a little bit. And it looks a little big, so what I can do is I can scale it by ch changing that a slider there, and I do. And I can also provide a URL so when people click on the logo, it'll take them to my website. So let me enter my website information. Okay, let's next click on the next yellow, which is the tagline. Uh, click on it. Now this yellow stuff that we're changing you only need to do once unless it's something different between the various apps you are creating. Okay, now we need to enter some contact information. And next we need to enter the client name. I'll enter the name Casey Wilson. That's the app I'm building. Uh, that looks a little wide, so let's click on this again so we can change it and uh, make it two lines. Perfect. Okay, let's add photos. Click on that. Uh, let me select Casey. Select the photos I want to upload. Now, this, since this is the first set of photos, it's going to prompt for a crop for the icon. So let's select that. Uh, that looks a little bit better. Okay, perfect. Let's save it. And as you can see, our app is starting to take shape. Uh, one more thing to change here is our uh, social media URLs. Let me enter those. Okay, let's take a quick scan of the app. No more yellow. Okay, let's change this last thing. Change colors. You can change the colors of your app to match your brand. I'm going to change the icon color. I can either type it in or select a color. Here, I want to select a color. Let me get a little better blue. Uh, there we go. I like this color scheme. All right, perfect. If you want to change a section, just click on it. Here, I'll rearrange the photos. Uh, let me move that. Let me pull that up to the first. Oops, I didn't pull it all the way. Let me try. There we go. Perfect. And click Save. And then you can see that picture's at front. Uh, everything looks good. Click on this link to see the app in action. You can uh, scroll down and see it. Or you can click on a photo and it'll go full screen. Uh, scan through the photos. Okay. Great. On the left, there are a bunch of buttons. Here's a Create a New App button. But a good important button is this Help button down below. If you get lost, click on it. Building the first app is a little tedious in that you have to enter all this information. But building subsequent apps is much more streamlined. So let's go build a new app and show you how quick it is. Click on the Create App button, uh, enter the client's name, Champagne Wilson. As you can see, the only thing we need to add now is photos. So let me go select some Champagne Wilson photos. Okay, here they upload. Once they're uploaded, I get a selector crop for the uh, icon. Save it. Looks great. Okay, you can also uh, change any section you want once you've built this app if something doesn't fit for this app. Or we can apply a theme. There's lots of themes built into my photo app. You can select a theme that you like here. I'll apply this blue one. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. The blue matches my logo. Let's go down. Or if I don't like that, I can select something completely different, like uh, let's go this foliage green. All right, you'll notice like Champagne Wilson's a little large for that, so let me go change the font size. Turn it down to 60. Save it. Yeah, that fits nicely. Okay, so let's take a look at this app by scrolling down. You can see the theme elements are applied in several places in the app. I'm going to select no theme, go back to a, a plain, uh, clean look, which would be great. So that's the quick introduction to my photo app. Uh, hope you enjoy building apps. Thanks.